Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to take my Samsung device, this is my Samsung Galaxy S4, and I'm going to show you how to unbrick or restore the firmware to this device using a program called Keys, which is put out by Samsung. So just so you can see what I'm working with, and this is actually something you're going to want to know how to do, is to go in here to Settings, About Phone, and you are going to want to find your device name right here, see device name? That is my device name. You're going to need this information for keys to do this. Now, if you can't find it here, I can show you another place where that device name can be found, and you'll see that. And you're going to want to find, if you go into status, you can find your IMEI, and you're going to want to write down both those numbers. Now, this is if the device is booting, and you can see what I'm on right here. I'm on build NC5 for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, to find your MEIE, and our MEI, IMEI, sorry, it's hard to say that one, or to find your uh, device name if your device is bricked. That's what I'm going to show you first. So to do that, you're going to go ahead and power off your device. Now, if your device is bricked, it's probably already in powered off state or in some kind of form of a boot, boot loop. Um, so to do that, if you, if you can't power it off normally, just pull your back cover and pull out your battery. All right. So, now, that would get your device turned off, in essence. Now, I'm not going to show you this, that's why my thumb is where it is, but right behind my thumb is your MEI, or IMEI number. It's back there. It's critical, it's kind of important, I don't really want to show it off. But you can pull it off back there, write it on a piece of paper, and we'll use it later in our program. So I'm going to put this back. There we go. Put our back cover back on. You have your IMEI. Alright, so from here, we're going to get this thing into download mode because it's bricked or you just want to restore it, so we can do this. So to do it, you're going to hold your home button, your volume down button, hold both those first, and then hit your power button, and you will see this, and then as soon as you see that, let go of all three buttons. Now hit your volume up to continue, and there you go, that is download mode. So from here, download mode is quite important. And again, you want to find that device name, right? It's right there at the top, and it says product name, and you find that SCH-I545. Again, very important to have four keys to function properly. So, there you go. You've got your IMEI, and you have your device name. Now we're ready to rock this keys program. Let me go ahead and show you how this works. Go ahead and now that you're in download mode, plug in your cable to your device. There we go. And the drivers will install as long as you have keys already installed on your computer. Your drivers will install for this very nicely. Let's shoot over to my computer. Alright guys, so basically you're going to download this pro program right here. You have Keys 3 or just normal keys. I'll give you a link in for it in the video description. When you download it and you install it on your computer, um, it's going to figure out the drivers for you, which is going to be really nice, and um, you should be uh, good to go. So it's going to tell you that you have an unsupported device. Just hit confirm, um, and then go to tools and firmware upgrade and initialization. Here you're going to have to put in that uh, name up there, like I told you about, the device name or product name. Hit enter. And now you have to put in that MEIE number, like I was telling you about. I'm not going to show you mine, but I'm going to do it and then hit enter. All right, there we go. And it gives you some warnings here. And we'll go ahead and click those. Yes. So this is NK1 is the newest build for my Verizon device. It does download the newest build. Um, and it's going to flash the whole thing. It gives you warning about it, permanent deleting all of your stuff. If you have things on your micro SD card, it won't delete that. But anything on the internal SD card... Um, and all your app data is going to be gone. So go ahead and hit OK. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to do this quick preparing your device for the software update. And then next what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and show you some other quick things and should download the software automatically or the firmware I should say. So right here just gives you about it, blah, blah, blah. File steps below to proceed with emergency recovery. Disconnect device from cable and get it back into download mode which you've all seen is already in so you can kind of just skip it um, and then we're gonna go ahead and say start upgrade 
And right now what it's going to do is it's going to prepare software update components and it's going to download the software. So let's just let this run. It is going to take a while to get this software downloaded and we'll come back to it as soon as it downloads. Um, depending on your download speeds, this is a pretty big file and could take quite a while. So just be patient and let it download. All right, well, we went ahead and the download has completed. And now we have moved over here to software update for this device. So again, it does warn you, please do not disconnect the cable. That would be quite bad. So. I'm going to show you right here, you can see that it just showed up. There's a tiny little blue speck right down there on the phone. Um, that gives you a progress bar across there. And here you can see there's also a matching progress bar in the program. Now this is going to run across. It's going to take uh, 5 to 10 minutes to flash the firmware. Remember you're flashing a 1 to 1 1.5 gigs. I've seen actually even firmware up to 2 1.5 gigs for some of the Note devices like the Note 3. So um, just give this plenty of time to fully flash the firmware and restore your device slash unbrick your device. We'll come back to it as soon as this gets a lot closer to the end here. All right guys, as you can see, we are at 82% and our progress bar is almost all the way across on the bottom. Now, I'm not really sure if this is gonna go ahead and boot us into recovery at some point here and install the radios. I know sometimes flashing device you may get a recovery boot and then a full boot when it's fully done. So I'm a little curious to see what happens here. Man this is moving quickly now. Um, so far the firmware flash to get to this point has taken about eh, five minutes. Five, six minutes I guess. Um, but like I said it could take up to ten minutes depending on your device. Um, and be, be, you know, be patient. I know it's a long process. Really, by the time you download the firmware, you get everything done on this, it's probably going to be a good hour almost to fully get keys installed, get your drivers functioning, get the firmware downloaded, get the device fully restored and booting again. It's about an hour. So um, just make sure you prepare plenty of time for this process so that, you know, you're not sitting there like pulling your hair out waiting on this thing. All right, so here we go. 97, come on, finish up so we can see this thing boot up and wrap this up. 100, and the device turned off. All right, it says successfully completed. Your device will now restart. And actually, there you go, there is the device restarting. Um, and reconnect the cable. It says device will restart. Disconnect and reconnect the cable, which is interesting. So I'm gonna actually um, just kind of let this go. I'm going to hit OK on this. And actually at this point we're technically done with the computer. So let's just focus on the device now. So there you go. Once you have gotten to this point basically you went through that little recovery screen you saw that. At this point it's basically safe to go ahead and unplug your cable your um, computer's not communicating anymore. You don't really even need it to plug back in. So we'll just go ahead and get that out of the way. And we're gonna wait. Now this process could easily take a good another five to 10 minutes for first initial boot up, just because it has to rewipe um, or reset up the cache files and get everything rolling again now that you fully restored the firmware. So again, we're gonna give it a quick wait right here, let this finish, and we'll come back to you and show you it's done. There it is, your device has fully rebooted. Um, basically from here it's very simple. Just go ahead and uh, set up your language and hit next and go through your initial setup. I don't have a SIM in this phone so I'm just gonna do with Wi-Fi. So just log into my Wi-Fi really quickly. And there you go, that is the device. Fully booted up, rocking it. So just to show you guys what I'm working with, you can see everything is fully restored and we'll go into settings and about phone and there it is i'm updated to nk1 the latest firmware so very simple very easy to do not a hard process at all um you know use keys and restore your samsung device like i said this is kind of universal should work for all samsung devices and very simple 
takes all the guesswork out of it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned. I'm going to be rooting this device next, so watch out for that. A lot of people have been asking for it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.